got a little stinger on the end there. Foul rain. We are wrapping up Thailand with some of our favorites and some tips and tricks for when you're there or for when we're there next time. So, we are going to start with our favorite food. What was your favorite food? My favorite food was this Thai omelet over rice. Here we have a Thai style omelet, which is really popular around here. Meg has eaten like 10 of these since we've been here. I love them. Super basic but really, really delicious. They put something in the eggs that gives it like a little extra flavor, but then you usually get to pick your ingredients that go in the eggs. I loved it. I will say I also really enjoyed it, but I did enjoy something a little bit better, and that was the ko soy, which is very traditional, as you heard in our other videos, of Northern Thailand. It cannot be beat. It is like curry with like an egg noodle. Super, super good. I had the ko soy with the omelet on top. Yeah, that's even better. That's our food, favorite food. Next, on to what was your favorite activity? My favorite activity was definitely the two day trek elephant excursion. Uh, it's hard to beat, you saw the videos and it's pretty epic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also just loved any time we were at the gym. Just felt really fun and homey. Yes, I also said the elephant elephant excursion for my favorite activity for obvious reasons, as hopefully you watched those videos. It was an amazing experience, super authentic. We got some exposure to some culture, which is always exciting. Next, what was something that surprised you about Chiang Mai or Northern Thailand? So I think in general, I came in really nervous about the like the food and the water and everything like that and like ice everyone was like don't drink the ice peach italian soda you know what someone at one time said that we should watch the ice but i've done quite a bit of research let me tell you i've had more ice since i've been in thailand sure. than i think i have at home sure. more smoothies more iced coffees so I found out quickly in Thailand, they ship in all of their ice. You can watch it happen on the streets. Like yeah. them literally get ice shipped in. So then I was like, oh, no big deal. Ice, good to go. I'm probably super spoiled because I have no idea if that's going to be the same in the other countries we go to. But for Thailand, pro ice. Yeah, I, I will <laughs> attest to we, I think I have at least one smoothie every single day. The smoothie is giving me life. I've probably had 20 or 30 smoothies. <laughs> so ice is good to go. I will say one surprise for me was how comfortable, specifically in Chiang Mai, how comfortable it was walking around the streets. Uh, I, I'm not gonna say the sidewalks are like easy to walk around on because there's cracks and everything everywhere, but you just feel comfortable. People are super nice. Everything's well lit. Uh, again, it really, I think it comes down to the people. Like everyone's just super nice. Nobody's bothering you people respect you, cars respect you, and you just feel very safe walking around. Okay, next, what is one planning tip that you would give to somebody for Northern Thailand or Chiang Mai specifically? So, we, our transportation wasn't totally spot on. So there's two things that I think you could do. One, we use this app called Grab, which was just like Uber. However, we didn't, we haven't been able to figure out setting up our credit card onto the Grab app. So we have to pay cash and it charges you more for cash. So I would definitely try to figure out how to get that app, that app set up with your credit card. Or you can motorbike, rent motorbikes. However, Ian and I have never done motorbiking and if you've been to Southeast Asia, it's a little wild. So we're nervous, we haven't done it, so maybe practicing motorbiking before coming, that could be an option as well. Yeah, uh, it like the grab costs you like double if you pay cash, it's crazy. I would say one planning tip specifically to Chiang Mai is they have like the center of the city, which is called the old city. It's like inside of the moat thing. And then like outside is, uh, I 
not the new city, but it's just not the old city. I would recommend finding a place just outside the old city. I think it gives you like the best of both worlds. The old city, you're gonna get like a lot of the like good food, kind of the very like, a little bit more of the cultural experience. Whereas in the outside the old city, you're gonna get more of like your shopping malls, kind of your newer stuff. So I, th I thought um, our second Airbnb had a really great location because it was, it was, it was close. It was north. Yeah, it was close to both. You could get into the old city and experience some of you know, the street vendors, but also you could get, we were walking distance away from like a super nice mall. With that being said, planning tips aside, what is one thing that you're looking forward to the next time we are in Northern Thailand or something that we maybe missed that you're just looking forward to? So it kind of ties back to transportation. I would like to, and I think we're on the same page here. I'd like to explore a couple different areas in Northern Thailand, like Pai or like, uh, there's a couple temples near Chiang Rai, like the White Temple, but they were, all of those are like three hours to an hour away from Chiang Mai. And because we didn't really want to continue to spend money on grabs, we skipped them this time. But if you were good on the motorbike, I think those are some really cool places to go see. To Meg's point, being comfortable with transportation will save you, first of all, a lot of money, but just give you a little bit more freedom. So that's something that we definitely, in our other countries, want to look into maybe getting on a motorbike or something like that, um, which still is really scary to me. But Probably not in Vietnam because I've heard it's not wild. Vietnam. Probably not in Vietnam, but it'll give you a lot more freedom and just give you the ability to move around a lot easier. And those are our favorite things and maybe some planning tips, some things that we're looking forward to uh, the next time we're in Northern Thailand. But we've had a great two, two and a half weeks, three weeks, actually a little bit longer than we expected in, Thail in Northern Thailand. And hopefully this video was interesting to you from the standpoint that hopefully when you're planning your trip to Northern Thailand, you can look at some of these favorites and base your trip around that. With that being said, that's all for this video and we will see you in the next one. Thank you.